My Leinster moment is the 1976 Leinster final. So Kilkenny were going for six in a row and they were red hot favourites for this match. Now Wexford had only be beaten Kildare in the semi-final, I think it was by four points that day and there was no one giving us any hope but we ended up winning the match by I think about 220 to 1-6 or something like that. Nick Butler getting into his hand, Butler tries a shot and he sends it over the bar, now Wexford coming into the road. I heard on Brian Cody that day, who became very popular as a manager after. And I remember I scored eight points on him, six from play and two from freeze. But well, we got very good friends after as Brian came down to Buffer's Alley looking for a wife. And I happened to be training the Camogie women down there at the time. And we were winning all earned as well with them. And we used to have great night celebrations. Big Butler sending it over the bar. Mick Jacob was playing at centre field that day and he left a few balls in on the plate for me right in front of me. He gave me the advantage on Cody, like Cody was the type of player that always played safe and liked to play you from behind so I got out in front of him every time and it just proved that it was a good old book for Sally Owler spirit there between us. And I would fault the Kilkenny defender there not for tackling quicker than he did. And Paddy Delaney uh, calling for the ball to be hit in low to him, and Paddy Dennison blocks that one down. That's Jer Henderson. And this is Chris Kill for Wexford, gives it out to Tony Dolan. And a chance for Dolan. It must be in the net, and it is in the net. After five minutes of play, Wexford really putting on the start. Tony Dolan, they are the scorer, calling for more.